interpret another time and another place as an exhibition theme as much. In my work for the exhibition, I definitely didn't make the work to fit a theme. Uh, I'm merely displaying work which I have been doing over the past uh, two years. So for me, uh, the relevance of the theme as such has more to do with just a revisiting of a certain group of artists who um, finished their studies in a certain certain period. So it's more looking at what happened to everybody. The development of technology definitely had an influence on my career in the sense that it enabled me to uh, start working with animation. Uh, making animation became less expensive and so it came within my reach and also the nature of the medium of animation was pretty much what my art was all about uh, right from the start. It uh, enabled me to work with narrative, it enabled me to uh, work with a lot of uh, different media, which was what I was always doing. So I would say that was the development of technology was the most significant um, event that influenced my career. I think that art school teaches one uh, in two different ways, uh, consciously uh, and unconsciously. Uh, at a conscious level, uh, we were given a quite a good basic design education. Um, I can spot a bad composition a mile away uh, thanks to the teachings of Omar Lowe. Uh, in our second year, John Clark taught us how to develop a project from, from raw material uh, to, and to how to branch out into different media. In our fourth year, Judith Mason taught us how to stretch a canvas. And then on a subconscious level or an unconscious level, an art school teach you other very valuable lessons. Um, it taught me resilience, for instance. I'm pretty much immune to sarcasm because of the time I spent at Turkey's. Um, also, it taught me about the myth of individualism. Um, an art school doesn't really want you to be yourself. Uh, there are certain um, specific rules that each art school require to make you a good student of this. Um, I know because I've spent time at three different art schools. And then an art school also teaches you the value of rules for the sake of the need to break them. So I think that is maybe one of the most valuable lessons that art schools have played throughout the ages is that interesting art and even great art comes from breaking the rules and rebelling against um, the established um, principles and guides. So I think that is pretty much what I got out of being at Tuckies. How have I evolved as an artist since leaving art school? Well, I left art school as a sculptor major and I went through different stages, painting, performance art, experimental theatre and now I'm doing mainly animation. So. I think I've evolved quite a bit. What stayed um, constant and which was a source of some confusion when I was at art school is the inherent humor in my work. And I think what also stayed constant is um, my unceasing desire to experiment. 
think in a sense I've never left art school because usually at art school that's where you get the opportunity to be experimental um, and I am still doing that.